Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing the different even and odd trigonometric identities. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Even and odd identities came from the concept of the graphs of the different trigonometric functions. First, we have this graph. Sige, as early as now, ipapapos ko yung video. What is this graph? Is this a sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent? Cosecant or second graph? Sige, I'll give you 5 seconds to guess this one. If your answer is sine graph, well then you are correct. This is indeed a sine graph dahil yung graph ay nagdaan dito sa origin. Ang x-axis natin is always the angles or the theta. Itong nandito ay mga positive angles, ito naman ay mga negative angles. Even and odd identities deal with the negative angles. Such that, if theta is negative, or kung titignan natin itong negative part, left part ng graph, parang yung right part ay in-invert lang with respect to the x-axis. Kasi dito sa origin natin, to the right, pataas tayo, pero to the left, pababa. Kumbaga ay opposite sila ng direction. Kaya naman, yung una natin even odd identities, kung kukuhanin natin ang sine ng negative theta, equal lang yon sa negative of sine theta. Dahil nga yung behavior ng graph, when it comes to the positive and negative part, they are inverse of each other. Inverted. Paano naman sa cosine graph? Kung mapapansin natin, y-axis pa rin yung ating basis. Symmetric siya along the y-axis. Kung ano yung makita natin sa left part, sa positive na angles or sa positive x, yun din yung makikita natin sa negative angles or negative x. That is why if x is negative, the cosine is just a reflection of the right part. In other words, when we get the cosine of negative theta, equal lang yun sa cosine ng theta. This is the second even odd identities. And for the third, even odd identity, review natin yung quotient identity. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung video natin about trigonometric identities, yung fundamental, ilalagay ko yung link dito sa upper right corner ng video na to. Isa sa mga quotient identity natin ay tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. And I told you a while ago that even and odd identities deal with a negative angle. So, palta natin lahat ng negative theta ang mga ito. Recall from the previous slide that if sine of negative theta is involved, yung negative parang ilalabas lang natin sa sine function. And yung cosine of negative theta is just equal to cosine theta. Dahil negative yung sine natin, this negative can stand as the negative sine of the entire fraction. And recall that sine theta over cosine theta, itong part na to, yan ay tangent theta lang. So in other words, if we are getting the tangent of a negative angle, equal lang yon sa negative tangent theta. So to sum it up, meron tayong tatlong even odd identities. Una, if sine ng negative theta ang hinahanap, that is just equal to negative sine theta. Kung cosine ng negative theta ang hinahanap, that is just equal to cosine theta. And finally, if we are getting the tangent of negative theta, that is just equal to negative tangent of theta. Ginagamit natin ng even odd identities to simplify other trigonometric identities na pag-aaralan pa natin sa susunod ng mga videos. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!